Hello again everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL's Advanced Edition back on board the Lanius Cruiser Type A, in this case the VSS Elemental with carbon, silver, and tin. Either way, we're starting to get ourselves a bit more of our power here, getting our powerful shields and engines going. We have ourselves a nice powerful cloak, hacking system, and a decent selection of weaponry now. We've also boosted up some of our alternate gear to be able to be a little bit more effective for us, and overall, this is looking to be a bit of a powerful ship. We don't have a med bay, but we've been able to make do with our cloning bay so far, and overall, things are looking good. We have a store right over there, but I don't really want to go to the store just yet. We'll go two jumps first, then go to the Zoltan store and see if we can buy anything good there. Might get ourselves a backup power generator or something. We'll have to wait and see. Our ship is hailed when we arrive, though, and it's a group of rebels who say, We found you at last. Prepare to die. Well, we'll see about that now, won't we? You're going to come board us? That's fine. We're going to get our border protection, border prevention mechanisms in place. And it looks like you've boarded right beside them. Perfect. So I can immediately start venting the room, air from those rooms, and start suffocating you to a horrible grave. And that'll be just fine. You're probably not going to want to stay in there. You are going to be able to do a little bit of damage to the system since there's two of you. But it looks like you've decided to split up, which is an incredibly bad decision on your part. And I must question your motives. Now, I am going to... Try no, we're gonna have to use this. We're gonna we're gonna send a drone out of their shields as well to make sure we drain this thing extra fast. Probably should have gone for weapons instead, but whatever. We're just gonna cloak now so they can't hit us, and we're gonna activate the hack. That should drain the shields down two bars completely, and fire the chain lasers in there. Very nice. That turns off everything except for the basic lasers, which are not that scary at all. And we can vent this room immediately so that he suffocates extra fast. Goodbye, poor boarders. Did you make it back home again? I don't think so. Alright, power back in the oxygen, close all the internal, external doors, and we'll be good to go. So, let's keep the ion charges firing, so we can keep them drained as best we can, and I didn't fire this chain laser for some reason? That's weird. We're going to fire again at their weapons. There we go. For some reason, I didn't fire that one last time. Not really sure why. Whatever. Doesn't make a huge difference anyway. Get the ion stunners back in there. Oh, we missed one. That's unfortunate. There we go. Deal a little bit more damage. And I think they just had somebody replicate in their uh, cloning bay just now. They might come board us again. Yes, they are. And they board us in the helm this time, which is a jerk move. All right, so we're going to take carbon. We're going to move them out of there. And we're going to start draining oxygen from the rest of the ship. Because that's what it's going to take to get these guys dead quicker. Now, they're probably going to be able to do some damage to the helm before we can do anything about it. But I'm not too worried, honestly. We're going to hack that system now. We can dodge all the damage they can really throw at us. There we go. And we have a cloak ready if we need it, too. And they don't quite manage to destroy the helm. Fantastic. So, we're going to move you over this way, and we're going to actually start venting out this side of the ship as well, because venting out more of the ship will speed things up for us. We're going to fire more chain lasers in there in a second. I think we're going to go for their weapons again. I'll go for the helm this time. Why not? I'm not really taking advantage of our chain lasers to their maximum extent, because we aren't uh, making sure to wait until they're actually fully charged, but... Or rather, we're waiting until other things are fully charged instead of firing them right away. But that's fine. There we go. They try and surrender now, offering us two missiles, a drone part, and 25 scrap in exchange for their lives. But we don't accept their paltry offer because we're going for blood here. So there we go. We'll turn the oxygen back on. Hopefully get our pilot back to the helm before this thing manages to fire. Because that could be a problem. Ion stunners both go off. There we go. They are still trying to run as well, which we can't really have. So we're going to drain off their shields. And we're gonna fire here and there. And they actually managed to hit us there because I wasn't paying attention. Alright, cool. We'll send you back in there and you back in there. Oh, they didn't quite die. Alright, we cloak now. We might have been hit by that rocket too because I didn't press the button in time. Man, that sucks. That was my own clumsiness causing that damage. Alright, vent out those rooms and we'll chain them to death. Goodbye, Rebel Invader. Nice try. That was unfortunate, though. We took way too much damage there. Four, four more than we needed to. Ship explodes, giving us three fuel, two rockets, and 54 scrap, which is a great deal, because we actually get 64 scrap because of our fantastic, fantastic double scrap recovery arms. All right, so we'll close the doors. We don't open all the internal doors to spread oxygen around faster, because the Lanius just eat all the oxygen. And let's send Tin over to go fix the radar. And I'll send Silver, too. He could use a bit more repair skill. All right, with 97 scrap, I'm sure we can buy something interesting at the store. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer, though. 
There we go, and that's just about finished, so we'll send these guys back to their positions. Still never got another crew. We could have taken one a couple times, but I think we made the right decision to not, because we were able to just barely afford things that we needed. So, I think that's fine. And... Let us... Take another look at this thing. So... We have 97 scrap. I don't think we want to buy anything right now. We'll just hold on to our money and go check out that store. I was contemplating maybe spending a bit of money now, but I don't think it's worth it. Here we discover one of the Rebels' autonomous scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging our ship. And they've got a cloak and a chain laser, a rocket launcher, a double shot laser, and a mini beam. Okay, that's a pretty powerful combo. Let's see what they actually try and throw at us, though. They're going for an alpha strike, which is perfect for us. That lets us block that entirely. A long cloak, though. All right, we're gonna go for the shields there, and we're gonna dodge this alpha strike. Thank you. No chance of you hitting us now. Get the ion stunners in there. And once that hits, activate that. Fire the other ion stunner. And we miss, unfortunately, chain lasers in there. There we go. Knocked out most of their weapons, and we set the room on fire, which is always fun. It's not gonna make any difference, I don't think, but it's still fun. And the ionization wears off, they get themselves more or less back charged up again, which is too bad, but we'll have to keep at it. Their weapons now are pretty irrelevant. A mini beam and a single burst laser mark one is not going to change anything seriously, so we should be okay here. We also have our cloak charged up again if we need it. There are a lot more micromanagey things to do in this game now, though. So many different systems you have to watch for, things you're waiting to see if they're charged. It's a lot more uh, distracting, I think you could say, too. Alright, we drain them out, and we blast them. No more weapon firepower for you. Perfect. Alright, now next up, I think we actually want to try and take out their shields so we can actually kill them a bit quicker. Because as it stands, we're going to be here for a little while unless we can take them out. So, we're safe. They can't repair anything dangerous, so we're not going to worry about that. Come on, that cloak takes forever. Jeez. Alright, wait for the ion stunners to hit, and we'll hack them at the same time. Wait until it hits first, there we go, we hack them. Now this time we're actually going to go for the helm here, because I want them to not be able to dodge so easily. There we go. No helm, no cloak. You're not going to be getting away from us so easily this time. And they're dead. Goodbye, Auto Scout. Perfect. That gives us access to two more missiles, another drone part, and 55 more scrap, which turns into 66 scrap, which is awesome. Let's go to the store, see what we can buy with 163 scrap. We were so starved for resources for so long, and now we're just laughing. A Mantis crew here is hunkered down in the abdomen of a long-dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. We take a look, and they're offering a bunch of interesting things. A Vulcan. What's a chain Vulcan? This laser weapon takes a long time to warm up. Each time it fires, it decreases the cooldown. It takes... One shot per charge. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It starts shooting at 11.1 seconds, but after it's fully charged, it takes 1.1 second to fire. That's insane! That's insane! It takes four power, though, so I can't really justify using it, but it's ridiculous! That kind of weapon is crazy powerful. Should I... I don't know. We could kind of justify getting it. We don't need the ions if you have that. 1.1 second. That's ridiculous. Is that all it does? Does it does normal damage? One, yeah. It has a chance of lighting fires, too. I wonder how long it takes to get up to that speed. That's ridiculous, though. 1.1 second chain charge cap. Well, we have to. I can't not. We have to try this thing. That sounds ridiculous. We're gonna swap out the chain lasers for that thing, because that sounds crazy. And, uh... If this is as powerful as it claims to be, that's hilarious. Because getting another chain laser might not be bad, but this thing just seems broken. Ridiculously powerful. Alright, so... I guess we leave it at that. Is there anything else we want to buy here? Not really. I'd like a drone control to block rockets, but... That's just craziness. Alright, let's keep this. Let's, um... How are we gonna handle this? So we just turn this off and run this. There we go. Vulcan. 
I cannot wait to see how this winds up going. That thing sounds ridiculous. Alright, and I guess we hold on to the rest of our money. Is there anything else I want to buy here? I could afford to buy a med bay, which might not be a bad idea coming up to the end. But I think we'll hold off on it for now, just to see what happens. Vulcan. Alright, let's see what this Vulcan does. Let's jump. Alright, Vulcan, show me your moves. We arrived to find a number of ships convening around a station. There is some unencrypted chatter between the ships, and we tune in and listen for anything interesting. Overhearing their conversation, it seems they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. We don't really have any ability for that. They briefly scan our ship and inform us that we're not properly equipped. That's right, we are not. Let's keep jumping. See if this silliness can continue with a Vulcan. Alright, we arrived at a Zoltan Research Facility. They say they're researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. We agree to participate in their study, but as soon as we dock, pirates burst on board and a hostile ship appears on the radar. We hear the Zoltans yelling in the distance, saying they're being held hostage. Well, that's two Zoltans that just boarded us, so that doesn't look good for their uh, their excuse. They're going to be boarding us again in a second, though, and that's bad news. So, I think we might actually just do an immediate cloak here. It's not ideal, but it'll protect us from having double the borders on our ship when we're really not equipped for that yet. Thankfully, we can wait a little bit longer for him to get there, but still not ideal. Turn off the oxygen so that drains quicker. I'd love to be able to use the hacking on them to disable their shields. Or I think we're going to go for weapons, actually, this time. Go for the hacking on the weapons. And we cloak now. Now they can't hit us for quite some time. We'll get the Vulcan ready to start firing on their shield system, I guess. And we'll ion stunner. See if we can ion stunner lock the guys in the teleporter. Nope. Apparently not. Go. Alright, Vulcan fired once, and now it's firing a little bit faster. They're probably going to be able to do some damage to our cloak as well, which isn't great. Have we missed all of our shots so far? I think we have. Oh, there they go. Alright, well they boarded us in an area we've already vented out, so that's good. They're gonna get into our helm here, at least these Zoltan explode. Woof! Alright, I think the Zoltan actually hurt when they die now, so thankfully that didn't happen. Vulcan fires again. It's warming up. Alright, let's drain out more of this air. We really don't want them to destroy our oxygen system. Otherwise, we're risking dying pretty hard. Oh, carbon needs to leave. Activate the hack to disable their ability to fire immediately. There we go. Close this door, thank you very much. And we're going to turn the oxygen back on, actually. Look at the Vulcan! It's going so fast now. It's going so fast now. Plus five. Jeez. All right, well... Let's move Silver over there. Open this door to get a bit more air in there. Get you in there. Good. Close this door again. Perfect. They're going to die hopefully soon. <coughs> that thing fires so fast. <laughs> That's crazy. It just ignores your shields completely. Alright, thankfully the beams don't hurt us at all, but... That is craziness. The thing fires so fast. Alright, we're going to cloak here just to make sure they can't hit us with anything nasty if we're unlucky. But like, look at this thing! Look at this thing! It's not the most powerful for burst damage, but that's silliness! So I think what we want to do is we want to swap the ion stunners for both of our chain lasers and just go for massive chain silliness. Because we could do that pretty easy. It looks like I cancelled the chain. Okay, put that on weapons instead. Goodbye, weapon system. There's a high chance of missing, so that is a problem with this ship. You want to take out their helm pretty quick, but that is ridiculously powerful. Alright, close all those doors. Let's get some oxygen back in this ship. We take out the ship and contact the research station, getting two fuel, a drone part, and 47 scrap, and they thank us for saving them, giving us two fuel, two missiles, 30 scrap, and a defense drone mark one. Thank you very much there, gentlemen. Especially because there's a store right there we can sell all this junk at. I actually still have that other drone I should sell, too. We pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here, please! But we're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Alright, well, are they gonna board us? Because there's lots of room with no air in this ship. Oh, well, let's turn the oxygen back off, and we'll be good. That'll drain back out in no time. There we go. I should have probably fixed that hacking bay, but whatever. So, we have the hilarious cannon ready to start powering up. We have the ion stunners as well, ready to start going, just to disable people for a little bit. But overall, I think we're gonna be prioritizing here is hacking out their weapons so that we can prevent them from actually hitting us with that rocket. But then again, we just cloak the rocket. I'm not really that worried here. We'll see what happens, though. If we start to be in trouble, we might have to change our plans a little bit. There we go. Do a bit of ionization damage there, just for the heck of it. These guys are probably going to make it into the helm. They might die from the suffocation just from the overwhelming amount of 
deoxygenized rooms before they get there. And they went back home anyway. Close the doors. Excellent. This looks like it's going to be a breach missile, so that's a little bit more dangerous, but nothing too scary. Also, since they don't have a med bay on there, the odds of them sending new people to board us is pretty slim. So, that's fine. Here comes the missile. Good. We're in a cloak. Gives us a only 95% evasion? Oh, because you're in the wrong room. Silver, get in there. Make sure you have 100. Good. Alright, you can come back in here and speed up our Vulcan. Going up to hilarious speeds. Ludicrous speed! The Vulcan does nothing until it gets up to this speed. Once it's at 5 times speed, it doesn't care about anything. That is ridiculously silly. Alright. So they boarded us the full health guys, which means we need to kill the other ones. These guys don't even matter. And we should really aim for their weapons instead to make sure we can kill them for sure. And weapons it is. Auto fire the weapons now. Boink, boink, boink. Massive damage. Let's move Silver out of there so these guys can suffocate a bit more. And they are so dead. So dead. That Vulcan is an amazing weapon. Absolutely amazing. Ship explodes, giving us two fuel, a drone part, and 55 more scrap. That is hilarious, though. That thing is broken. Just beyond belief. Also, you're suffocating, so let's turn the oxygen back on. Stop you from suffocating carbon. Run you over here. And let ourselves regenerate a little bit. Alright. Seriously, though, that is just outrageous. And we have 226 scrap now, too, which is great. We can use that money to great effect, no doubt. So, let's repair our hacking system and then keep going. This looks like we might have what we need to win here. This Vulcan is a crazy weapon. And if we want, we could have the Vulcan and two chain lasers firing, which just gives us ridiculous firepower after a couple seconds in a fight. So let's go check out this store, I guess, and see what we can buy from them. We have 226 more scrap to spend. If they have another Vulcan, that's game over right there, I tell you. Human ship hails, says, My friends, please, there is nothing I don't have, and there's nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why don't I look around my shop? He has mind control, ooh. A backup battery, ooh. And drone control, ooh. So, if we want to, we can get rid of a bunch of things. We have an anti-drone and a defense drone we can get rid of. But I don't know if we really want to get rid of all these things. I don't know. We don't have a lot of drone parts, so using drone control might not be the best idea. But then again, if we can get it for free here. And we're going to buy the backup battery for sure. That gives you free two power bars when you activate it for a certain amount of time. Mind control we might want to get anyway, just so that we can take them over. And that might help us sometimes. We don't do a whole lot of... Uh, crew harassing though that would make us able to prevent them from fixing things that might be really good still use them on a shield system that we're hacking the drone control might be good let's just get all of them this is your ship's final system slot oh oh there's a limited number of system slots that's interesting so the battery doesn't take anything off because it's a subsystem but if we want to get mind control or drone control we have to pick one Ooh. well I think it's probably better for us to get drone control and keep the one defense drone we can sell this one. I'm going to keep the anti-drone, though, because that might be good during the flagship final battle. 131 scrap gives us plenty of money to play around with. We could buy another crew here. And another Zoltan would be really nice, actually. Get more power for free. So let's buy that Zoltan. Welcome aboard, Nikos. You're taking over the shields. Hmm, I'm gonna double check something. There's a really loud noise coming from somewhere in my apartment. I don't know what's making it, so I will be back in one second. Sorry, guys. There's been a lot of interruptions in this run, but I don't know what's making this noise. I'll be right back. Turns out it's just running water, but it sounded really weird. All right, anyway, there must be something wrong with the pipes right now or something. We have to talk to the uh, people about that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, we are looking good here. We have our backup battery in place. We have our... Uh, drone control in place. Things are looking pretty good for us. That also means we can't get a teleporter, though, which is interesting. It looks like it really does limit you to, to limit you to two special systems. So if you don't have any of them to start with, you can pick which ones you want, but you only get two of them. So that is an interesting conundrum. Hmm. All right. Well, the hacking is pretty powerful, so I don't feel too bad about that. We don't really have a ship built for boarding anyway. So, I think the other thing we're going to do is we're going to check if we can buy some cheap repairs here. No, they're super expensive. Okay, no thank you then. I'll just wait. We're going to go to our ship menu here, and we're going to power ourselves up a bit more. I think we might want to put one more power bar in the defense control, in the drone control, rather, because that way we can use our defense drone and our anti-drone, which I think will be useful together. Um, but beyond that, I'm not sure. What else do we want to buy? We want to try and buy ourselves more weapon power so we can get everything ready at the same time, but I don't think we're going to get that much money. We'll try, though. We'll jump around this way and see what we can get. See what we can get, indeed. 
So, what appears to be his old science ship requests permission to dock. Okay. We allow them to approach, but are caught unawares when they open fire. What a surprise! Alright, we're just gonna ionize the heck out of them, because we can, and that'll take down their super shields pretty quickly, and we can also Vulcan them to death, and that'll help speed up our Vulcan super shield death mechanism. They also have two missile launchers, which we're not super keen on, a heavy laser Mark II. Those fired pretty quickly. So we're gonna have to cloak out to make sure we don't take any unnecessary damage right now. We might try and knock something down with the hack. Eh, let's go for the weapons. Slow down their ability to actually fire at us. There we go. The rockets are the only really dangerous thing. The lasers could be scary, I suppose, but I'm not really worried about them still. The fact is that they have a tendency to uh, miss us, which is good. 45% evasion. Well, I don't know if we should count on that. Let's see. If what I do now, okay, now what we do is we do this. Now we disable so they can't fire them in sync. And now we have the Super Vulcan. It just keeps missing. There we go. Oh boy. Okay, maybe this isn't the best plan. If it misses every shot, then it's not going to be doing what we need it to do, which is murder things for us. Come on, Super Vulcan. You can do it. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. We got another hitting. And we're going to cloak again. So the rockets miss us again. Perfect. And we're starting to deal some damage. The Zoltan are exploding. Time to switch the Vulcan over to the weapon system. And what do you know? The Zoltan captain sends us an urgent hail. Wait, this was a test. A test that, that you passed. A diverse crew working together surely a sight to warm the heart of any dispassionate observer. Come, I shall join your crew. Well, you saved your friends. You got yourself two fuel for us, a missile, 27 scrap, and you're actually skilled in the shields, which is very convenient, Turing. All right, Turing, you have passed. You can take over our shield system. Welcome aboard. That's actually kind of nice. Okay. We have a skilled shield person, which is great because that's really hard to get. Especially this late in the game. Nekos had basically no skill there. Awesome. Alright, well now we have another extra power, so I don't know what we're going to spend that on. But it's very convenient for us, at the very least. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That was a waste. Double clicked there. Alright, so... We're going to go to our ship menu, and we're going to look into money. What do we want to buy? I could spend another 90 scrap on this to get us a chain laser and an ion stunner. That might be a good idea. We don't really need the double ion stunners as it happens. It wasn't as good of a combo as I thought it might be. Um, we could also go for more evasion and more survivability, which might be a good idea because we're going into the end here. Let's fight this just beacon though, and we'll save up a bit of money and we'll make a decision from there. What do we have here? We arrive at the beacon and immediately take the pirate ship. It seems this is just beacon was a trap. Well, I got a lot of rockets, so that's not good. We're going to take some shots at them again. Go for the shields, I guess, with the Vulcan, because it doesn't really make much of a difference. Ion stunners over there. They're going to be boarding us in a second, too, which is not great, so we'll send tin down this way. I'd love to be able to spread out my uh, my crew, but I don't think it's a good idea to move those two Zoltan. Having them both in there gives us a uh, ion-proof shield layer and is generally pretty nice. So that should drain that. We turn off the oxygen so they drain faster. They're probably going to be able to destroy this, but that doesn't make much of a difference to us anyway. The big problem here is the rockets these guys are carrying, so we're going to have to dodge those. We're going to ionize their weapons, though, or rather hack their weapons. Here comes one rocket. They did break it, unfortunately. And they're going for our helm now. Cloaking time! Alright. Once we get up to speed here, we'll be able to take them t to pieces, but for now, we have to try and make sure that we don't just die. Now, they might be able to destroy our helm, too, before they suffocate, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Now, there we go. Good. All right, so they're going to try and fight their way out, so we're going to let them suffocate there. Then we're going to need to run back in. For the time being, though, our key priority here is hacking their weapons to bring that rocket launcher down by seven seconds, which is really useful to us. And they've left, which is great. We can close the doors, turn the oxygen back on, open doors on this side to get oxygen back into the helm so we can get in there quickly and dodge anything else they want to throw at us. Close internal doors because we don't need to keep them open anymore. Vulcan is just about at super speed. They're all trying to get into the weapons room, which is locked down, so that's great. And we're getting down to Super Vulcan. Here we go. And Super Vulcan. Alright, now all we need to do is hit them in the shields repeatedly and they will die. We hit them faster than they can dodge us. Alright, do this. Turn off the oxygen again. And the Zoltan that have just boarded us are going to be in for some trouble. They've sent another rocket our way, unfortunately. Thankfully, it looks like it's a little one and it missed us anyway, so that's fine. Ow. No, the big one hit us in the oxygen. Ow. Well, that's not something I'm okay with, but there's nothing I can do with it, do about it right now. We're going to move Silver out of the room, so they keep suffocating. Move Silver back into the room. Move Silver out of the room. Move Silver into the room. 
Shields are almost down. It's almost time for us to dodge again. They've run home. Perfect. So now we close the internal doors. We have no way of restoring our oxygen, so we're actually going to send Silver... Silver? We'll send Tin, I guess. We'll send Tin over to deal with the oxygen problem. It is on fire. Also, that's not good. We're going to cloak right now. Now, too late. That's fine, though. All right. Switch the Vulcan over to auto-fire at the weapons, so we can actually kill them now. We've taken a bunch of damage here for no good reason. They offer us some junky cargo if we let them live. We don't accept their surrender, though, and we're going to murder them. Thankfully, with the oxygen system burned out and Elanius in the room, those fires will go up quickly due to lack of oxygen, and these guys are going to be dead in a second anyway because of our Vulcan. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also, we need to move Carbon over here because there's no oxygen in there anymore. Ship explodes, leaving behind two fuel drone part and 37 more scrap, which is nice, but we really need to deal with these problems here. Get our oxygen back up and working so the rest of our crew doesn't die. I'd love to get a real med bay around now. That would be something I should probably have invested in earlier. The odds of us being able to find another store to buy one are pretty slim now. And we turn the oxygen back on, there we go, and we'll run our Lanius back to the weapons. Perfect. And we'll send Carbon over here to repair our battery. The reason being, if we have one of them die during the flagship fight, that is going to be a problem, because it's going to take us 9 seconds or whatever, 12 seconds to have them respawn, and that's not going to be very good for us. <clears throat> so we'll do our best here. I'm getting a bit sloppy in the end here, but honestly, that's fine by me. We're doing just fine anyway. I don't care too much. There we go. We want to spend some money, though, soon. So we're going to jump over this way. Actually, it might be better to go way over there. Before we do any of those things... <laughs> Dang it, I don't like that anti-drone is right underneath the wait button now, or the cancel button. I keep wasting drone parts doing that, and that's awful. That is a bad, bad placement decision, and I do not like it. Don't approve. Alright, we're gonna go for more firepower, because evidently these ion stunners are not doing us any good like this. And we turn one of them off, turn the chain laser on. Now, that should give us a little bit more punch. And if we can get the other chain laser working as well by the time we fight the flagship, that'll be even better. Let's keep jumping, though. Jump over this way and see what else we can do. We spot a pirate ship looting a small Zoltan cruiser. They spawn us and move into attack before our FTL has a chance to recharge. Alright, well they have ion, ion, and a charge laser. Nothing too scary, honestly. I'm not too worried about either of those things. So we should be able to hopefully take them down before they can do too much with us. Charge, charge, actually. That is kind of dangerous, but we can just cloak and dodge them, so that's not so scary. Firing two shots at us. Both of them miss anyway. Both the ions also miss. Wow. Talk about missing a lot. Alright, ion stunner in there. There we go. Not too worried about them at all anymore. Okay, chain laser. I'm just going to start spamming you as well so we can get that power built up a bit quicker. Once we get to maximum firepower, that's when we're laughing. Now if these guys go to alpha strike us, we're just going to cloak and they're going to be sad. Nice try. Alright. We're getting close to Super Vulcan. We're almost there, in fact. Alright, Super Vulcan is, is real. The dream is real. The one second recharge Vulcan. What a crazy weapon. And the crew in there are gonna die, no doubt, because they're getting stomped on by our super lasers. And they've cloaked. Okay. That might give them a chance to re repair a little bit, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright, that's all they got. We're actually perfectly safe still right now. Keep smacking them. Poor guys. Well, that's two of them dead, and time to change the Vulcan to weapons. Chain laser can keep firing there. These guys want to surrender. We don't accept their surrender. We're going for blood. Vulcan wrecking their day completely. Oh man, that Vulcan's amazing. Ship explodes, giving us a missile, a drone part, and 45 scrap. Awesome. Just ridiculous. And we can buy another weapon control, which means we now are going to abandon the ions completely for the double chain, double Vulcan, or double chain Vulcan strategy. <laughs> oh boy, we have so much firepower all of a sudden. So, we're going to go here, then we're going to go straight to the exit, I think. It's not worth risking the uh, rebel jump there, because I think they will overrun this beacon next jump. And we're going to get a ton of repairs when we make it back to safety anyway. We arrive at an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. Unfortunately for them, we don't have time for this shenanigans. They're mind controlling our Zoltan though, which sucks, so I'm gonna run touring out of there because I don't want them to be hurting themselves. Alright, now we need to do some very slow chain lasering strategies here. 
Thankfully, I don't think they can hurt us at all, unless they get really lucky with ionization and asteroid timings. The odds of them actually being able to hurt us are basically nil, so I'm not too worried here. We're going to be cloaking out in a second anyway, just to dodge this ion attack, so there's no chance of them messing us up. Now, hang on a second. First, we do this, this, that. There we go. I'm also going to save our positions, because I meant to do that earlier. There we go. And we're just going to let them spam for a bit. Once our weapons are done spamming, they should be up to super speed. We should be able to ravage all, all comers. Alright. Vulcan is almost at super speed. They got to hit in the engines anyway. There we go. Vulcan is at super speed. Vulcan aiming at the shields. You poor souls. You are not prepared for what's happening to you right now. <laughs> You've mind controlled Arlanias, but that doesn't matter because you are dead. The energy instigator is gone. Ship explodes even behind two fuel, a drone part, and 46 scrap. Awesome. Jumping onwards to the exit. Might have been able to make that jump, but I don't know. I don't want to risk it. We've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. What do we find here? We come across an asteroid mining colony. They message us immediately, saying, Greetings. Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since Herbal's blockaded the system. Do we have any extra? Sure. Let's give them 15 missiles. We have a bazillion extra. All right. They say, Wow, this will this will help our efforts considerably. Let me see what I can scrounge up to offer you. They deliver 38 scrap and repair 5 hull for us, which is nice, because we were a little bit low on health. <laughs> that brings us back up to a nice healthy 10, which is much better than we were at before. All right, we are just laughing now. We have so much money to burn, too. Okay, what do we want to do here? I think at this point we want to start upgrading our survivability, but we're going to jump onto the last stand first. So, final jump to the last stand. Now, it's, now things are for real. All right, we arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Our access codes get us past initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission, and our explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief. General Terzel of the Engine Brigade speaks up, saying, Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. We explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship, and Tully responds, saying, it's settled. The Rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. I like that they've changed this now to make it so it's not so obvious that, like, <laughs> they, they should be able to give you more than that if you're at their base. You're just at a random outpost near the base. Also, there's a couple other weird things now. The base is over there. We're way over here. So we have to kind of boogie to get there, otherwise we're going to get overrun. So, that's definitely a concern. We're going to jump straight to this repair beacon, though, and get ourselves some extra hull. Perfect. There we go. NNG Civilian Shipyard has been converted into a military refueling station. They give you scrap, too? What? Really? They offer us the chance to patch up our ship and refresh some supplies, giving us five... Wait, hang on, that can't be right. Five fuel, four missiles, five drones, and 43 scrap, as well as ten repair. It did give us scrap. But you oh, okay, looks like once you go to these, they become taken over or something, because you could go to them more than once in the past, which meant you could just infinitely gain all of the stuff you could ever want from them, which seems a bit weird. They must have changed it so you can't go back to a used repair station. That must be it. So you have 162 scrap, what do we want to spend it on? Uh, maybe getting a better clone bay would be a good idea about now. Um, I think we're definitely going to get maximum level doors, because we're going to need those against the enemies that come later. We're going to want to upgrade our drone control maybe a little, and get some more power. I want to I want to upgrade our defenses too, though, but I don't know. Go for some evasion here. Make ourselves not die as easily. Alright. And let's keep jumping. We're going to jump over here and then see where that guy goes. If he goes right to the right, we might have a really hard time stopping him, just based on how it spawned. A civilian ship is broadcasting a request for assistance on a secure Federation channel. They're being harassed by rebel scouts, and we agree to respond. Here we go. We move in to intercept. They got big missiles, they got a hacking system, they have lasers that aren't super dangerous to us. I don't think they can actually do anything. Okay, they hacked our oxygen, which is bad, but not the end of the world. But yeah, I think we're actually going to be okay here. The rocket is the only dangerous thing they have, we should be able to dodge that pretty effectively here. So, we'll cloak when that happens, but we're actually going to drone them as well, I think. We're going to hack their uh, weapons. Oh! Didn't notice they had one of those. Alright, that's going to make it harder. That's right, they have an anti-drone, so we can't... Uh, that's not going to happen. That's fine, though. <clears throat> we'll just spam at them for a bit, and then we'll be able to cloak out once things start to get real. 
We missed with that shot, unfortunately. Once the rocket goes off, we can cloak safely. Here it goes, cloak. Vulcan's up to plus three. Our chain guns are getting a bit faster. Once we get a bit more damage in there, we'll be laughing. They've hacked our oxygen again, but that's fine. We don't really need the oxygen right now anyway. And we're up to Super Vulcan, so now we should be able to wreck them. There we go, and the system's on fire, so we were looking for. All right, we're gonna keep that fire up, and we're gonna switch the Vulcan in a second over to the weapons, as we're gonna change one of the chain lasers as well. There we go, keep that fire on them. All their weapons are basically disabled now. You poor souls didn't know it was coming. <laughs> you were not prepared for the fury of the Vulcan. Oh man, that thing's the best. All right, the wood with the rebel ship destroyed, we're free to contact their would-be victim. Getting a missile, a drone part, and 60 scrap. Contacting the survivors, we receive a message on encrypted Federation channels. It says, thanks for helping us, Captain. We're in the process of setting up another emergency repair station. Transmitting coordinates now. All right, so we got a new repair station somewhere. There's a store here. I might go there. Spend some money. Why not? Sure. What do you have? You can buy a real med bay? I'll buy one for sure. Done. Easy. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here, and... Oh, no med bay. Sold and shield bypass is pretty cool, though. Allows crew and bomb teleportation mind control work through super shields. Battery charger doubles the... Er, yeah, reduces the cooldown by half there. That's pretty cool. Buy more crew if you went crazy. I don't think that's going to help us any, though. We've got repair burst bombs. Those repair system damage completely. Wow, eight system repair. That's really powerful for one chart, one power. Pike beams don't need any of that stuff. All right, well, we're laughing here, I think. Let's sell this ion stunner. Why not? It gives us a bit extra money. And that means we can buy ourselves more upgrades, which we are going to do, no doubt. So I think we're going to max out our power and buy ourselves the final engine stage in a minute. We'll buy it now, even though we can't use it, because we can use the backup battery if we want to get a bit of extra power there. Let's jump over here, and then we'll head over to fight the flagship. <clears throat> and see if we can actually face off against it with what we've got. There are a few Federation fleets in the nearby area, as well as a lot of wreckage. There must have been minor skirmishes in the area. <clears throat> Alright, drink of water time. <sighs> this is it. It's all for real now. We're not going to get anything else before we go in to fight this guy. So... Here goes nothing. We have a couple weaknesses, like our complete lack of any ability to protect our crew. We also have a, a pretty serious oxygen weakness, but overall I think we're looking pretty powerful. So let's get in here and try and ravage this flagship. Here goes nothing. Bring it on, flagship. This is it, the rebel flagship. If we can destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There is no turning back. Alright, so, a couple things here. We stop. They're going to be sending hacking at us. We have an anti-drone system here, so we might use that immediately to protect ourselves from the various incoming drone bits. So, we're going to power up our backup battery, I think, to do that. Let's we'll see if it fires. It does. So, anti-drone is definitely go. Using the power we get from this. Anti-drone go. Engine power go. Good. That should destroy it. No? Is it just going to get stunned? It's going to hit us anyway? Can we ping it off the ship? Oh, they hacked our hacking system. You jerks. I guess it just disables it temporarily? I don't even know what that does. Alright, so we need to start firing on them. Get these guns ablazing. Now, we have not a lot of use out of this anti-drone, so I might switch it over to a fence drone. Can I use this thing? Not while it's being hacked. No. Okay, interesting. That's all that really does then. They've connected doors to these rooms, so it's no longer easy to disable the rocket launchers anymore, which is pretty sucky for us. they got a lot of firepower coming our way, but we should be okay for now. Here comes the rockets. This one we're going to cloak out for sure, because it's not worth taking that kind of damage. There we go. Plus we have the stealth weapon, so we can still power up our chain lasers and whatnot while we're here. Vulcan, go! We need to power up the Vulcan. That's our highest priority. Once that thing is ready to go, we will be laughing. But until it is, we're at a bit of a risk. Now, I should actually have launched that hacking drone first, because now they're going to hack us again as soon as they're available. But we should have to... We'll just wait and see what happens here. Now, ooh, 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 that's bad news. They got a bunch of good hits in there with the ion. So, keep our systems firing. Vulcan, go. There we go. Chain lasers, go. Nope, not enough. All right, now we're up to almost maximum firing rate, though, so that's good. Lasers coming in. Might hit us this time. Nope, got a miss there. That's good. Beam is going to be ready to fire again in a second. We're going to try and disable something. Um... What's the best thing we can disable right now? Not really shields, because we're hitting maximum super level now, so it's going to just wreck everything they try and do to us. Um, 
maybe reducing the, the missile charge until we can actually get rid of them would be a good idea, so we can take a little bit less damage. Let's try it. Launch at that thing. Oh, it got shot down somehow. They don't have any drones, but it just didn't get in. Alright, that's not good. We're gonna take some missile hits. Well, there's one missile, two missiles. Oh, wow. Talk about missing, that was great. Alright, well, this is really good for us. We're gonna keep the heat on them with our chain laser fire. There we go, wrecking their crew, in fact. People are dying all over the place. They've cloaked again, which is fine. We're gonna cloak again, too, actually. We'll dodge the lasers at this point, because we just want to be able to keep going here. They're not gonna be able to fix the shields enough to survive the amount of firepower we can bring to bear. So we should be able to just target down their rocket launcher in a second with this firepower. And the rocket launcher is going to be dead. There we go. Rocket launcher is broken and on fire. These crew are going to die. And there goes the flagship. Not a lick of damage. No risks at all. Just as we gain the upper hand, they find a way, find a way to make an FTL jump. In their new state, they have to get closer to the base to be a threat. And we've got ourselves a fuel, a missile, and 22 scrap. That was hilariously OP. Oh, man. Once we got up to speed there, they just did not stand a chance. Now the next wave is going to be harder. It is guaranteed going to be harder because it's got the drone super wave in it. So we're going to have to deal with that. Now in order to deal with that, and to deal with all the other drones you can undoubtedly be throwing at us, we're going to need to try and probably tank as much, as much damage as we can. I have a feeling they're going to be pretty tough to get through though at the beginning if they have any kind of real defense drone system set up. So we're going to go upgrade our clone bay just in case people start dying here. That's our security measure. Now, unfortunately, he is still jumping to the repair beacon, which is going to make our life a bit more difficult. And there's no time telling you how long it's going to take them to get to the base, so that's kind of a risky thing. But we're going to chase them down and try and wreck these guys. Now, I'm expecting this wave to be vicious, vicious and viciously deadly, but we're going to go take it on anyway and see what happens. We chase down the flagship and discover it's heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it has redirected considerable power to its drones, and here we go. So it does not actually seem to have... Try this. Hack the drone bay. Oh, that thing does shoot it down. It's too bad. Fire another one. There goes the boarding drone right in the stealth system. Really? Really, game? Of all the places you could hit, you hit the stealth system? You couldn't hit, like, something irrelevant over here that'll take you five hours to get through the rest of our ship? Okay, that's gonna make things a bit annoying. I was basically counting on him hitting a bad room to make this more reasonable, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen now. That could make this hard. Because if he wrecks our stealth, it's going to make it hard to survive all these super waves. So, ah, he's going to keep shooting down our uh, our hacking drones, too. That sucks. All right, well, we don't have an easy way to block this guy, so we're just going to start spamming lasers, as our as is our standard strategy. It works pretty well when it eventually works. Vulcan, go. All right, so they are going to try and hit us with that, unfortunately. But we should be able to still get a pretty good cloak out of this if we wait until they fire the rockets. I think. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna cloak now. For safety's sake. Here comes the super wave. That's fine. Looks like we have a good timing on that anyway. We'll be able to dodge that pretty safely here, and then it's actually gonna turn off because we'll be out of time, so that's fine. I wish we could turn this guy off, but it's gonna be very difficult to do anything about that. Alright, we're getting down to the real speed wave now to four times, and here comes the rockets, and the drones are still on the stage, oh boy, please miss us a lot, oh thank goodness, they all missed, alright, let's try and hack that drone control still, more lasers coming in, oh we got him, perfect, okay, activate the hack, disable that drone, perfect, perfect, alright, now we've got him where we want him, so, now we just need to lay down the heat on this shield system to make sure it does not get a chance to regenerate at all, there we go, and it's on fire, perfect, and we're going to switch next chain laser over here, next chain laser over there. The Vulcan should be able to ravage the shields by itself now. We're taking more shots, but that's okay. The drone is actually gone. That's interesting, I wasn't expecting that. And we should have a cloak ready in just a second. Here's a power surge incoming, more rockets incoming, good timing, cloaking. Dodges the rockets, very good. Chain lasers, these guys are done for. Goodbye. <laughs> the firepower we have is ridiculous. Rebel flagship is destroyed. Okay. As we finally gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. In its new state, they'll have to get close to the base to be a threat, so we bought ourselves some time. We have to keep up the assault, blah blah. Missile, drone, 19 scrap. Now, the next stage is going to be a problem for us, because they're going to be boarding us with a ton of crew, because we didn't kill very many of them yet. But, seriously, that was some monstrous firepower we had there. Absolutely monstrous. 
So, let's fix this up here with silver, and then we'll be able to move on. It should actually give him a level up, too, in repairs, which would be nice. Or is it not? Is that tin? That's silver. Why isn't silver leveling up his repair skill? Does repairing breaches not level up your repair skill? I guess not. That's really weird. Oh, we have 39 scrap left to spend. What do we want to spend it on? I think we're going to spend it on oxygen. That's all we can afford, so that'll do. Well, we could have done the other power bar, but too late for that now. Oh well. Okay. You got it, Silver. Nicely done. Alright, back over there to the engines. Okay, so since the next wave is probably going to be a super mega boarding wave, it might actually be a good idea for me to put tin on the doors right away, but I'm not sure if that's true, because we already have pretty decent doors now, and I want to speed up the fire rate on these things. It might honestly be better for me to put silver over there. So let's try that. Put him on the doors to begin with, so they're higher levels, so we can protect ourselves a bit better, so we can go straight up to the uh, fancy boarding strategies, where we just suffocate the heck out of them. Um, we'll have to see how this works. It might be tricky. Overall, though, I think we're looking pretty good here. Did I never rename Turing and Nikos? That was silly of me. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> I'll do that now. Alright, you're renamed Neon. And you're renamed... Um, maybe Argon? What, what noble gas do I want to use for the next one? Maybe... You can be Krypton. That's a good one. Krypton. There we go. Neon and Krypton. Should have renamed them earlier, but oh well. You can't win them all. I forget I can do that now. Perfect. Carbon, silver, tin, neon, and krypton. Fantastic. So, let's chase this flagship down. We have maximum hull. We've never taken damage. <laughs> That's crazy. We've gotten through the entire flagship up to stage 2 so far with no damage on hard mode. Let's see if we can continue this ridiculousness by smashing this flagship into teeny pieces. We're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it's sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well as a super weapon. Here it goes. Oh, they've got mind control now. That's a problem for us, blocking them with the doors. Alright, thankfully they've teleported into a much... a very accessible area. Start suffocating them immediately. There we go. Turn off the oxygen. Start firing the weapons to break down the Zoltan Super Shield. More borders are coming in, though. That's not good. They're gonna break down one layer of our doors at least. And I can't get the, uh, the hacking system in through those Super Shields, either. Here comes the rockets. Alright, we're gonna activate Cloak. Perfect. Alright, we've spent out this room as well to make sure this person suffocates. This one might be okay, this is a problem. We're cloaked now, which gives us a bit of survivability here against these guys, and gives us a chance to power up our weapons. Here comes another nice miss, fantastic. Fire another salvo of chain lasers, which is good as well. They're going to be boarding us in a second, and they've still got us mind control at the doors. That's really bad. That is seriously a problem for us. How long is that mind control going to last? My goodness, that is the longest. All right, there it goes. It's now back online. Unfortunately, it's a bit late now because everything is damaged, so he's not going to be able to do much. All right, so the oxygen is still offline, which we want to fix, but the problem is they're just going to go straight for our our, uh, our shield bay now because it's not protected in any way. Okay, this is a problem. This is definitely a problem. We have our super weapons online, but our crew are at risk here now. I don't care about the backup battery, I'm quite happy to let them destroy that thing, because we have them where we want them now, taking a ton of damage from our attacks. I'm going to send the hacking system over, actually, and we're going to hack their mind control system. There we go. They've broken that, that's fine. We're going to activate the hack on the mind control, which should, like, make them all work for us. No, just one of them work for us. More incoming rockets hit us in the helm. Nothing important there. We've taken our first damage in this flagship fight. I think our crew are fine now. They're killing each other, which is great. Ow, that one hurt. That one definitely hurt. But the Vulcan is still online, which means we should be fine. Fire this over there. Ow, taking some more damage, but we're going to be okay. We've got this in the bag now. Cloak is ready. Activate the cloak. Vulcan, destroy them utterly. Carbon's going to live through this, even if we take damage. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory is ours. Lanius Cruiser victory. Awesome. We did it. On hard mode. Oh, thanks to the valiant effort of the VSS Elemental and a successful crew, Carbon, Silver, Tin, Neon, and Krypton, Venerable's flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. Fantastic. We did it. On hard mode.
Awesome. That Vulcan is crazy powerful, though. Let us check our score. Wow. 5,413 points. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see this. That's actually on our uh, on our high scoreboard, too. Wow, I didn't think that was going to be happening anytime soon, but I guess winning on hard gives you that extra 50% score, which really bumps you up there, even though the game doesn't give you a lot of stuff. Very nice. So, that is a new top score. Fantastic. We ship defeated 41 ships, 97 beacons explored, 1,819 scrap, and 5 crew hired. Not the best in that respect, but very nice in this one. Awesome. We didn't earn any new hard mode achievements, unfortunately. Apparently these ones don't upgrade to hard. This one doesn't upgrade either. That one doesn't upgrade either. This one doesn't upgrade either. I did manage to get... Uh, I don't know, we got a prayer upgraded, ballistophobia upgraded, technophobia upgraded, no red shirts here upgraded, and I think that's it. I don't know if these ones upgrade to hard mode either. I haven't tried them. But yeah, that was pretty awesome. We've smashed our way through Advanced Edition in the Lanius Cruiser Type A, and I look forward to doing many more things with Advanced Edition for you guys in the future. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. I certainly have enjoyed playing it. Oh, it's very satisfying to beat it after all that. That was a very tough flagship too, making it the old strategy is not quite as effective. Anyhow, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you all again very much for watching. And until then, bye-bye.